expert, you could have diabetes, not even know it. Diabetes affects 24 million Americans, but only 18 million know they have it, and many more are actually pre-diabetic. Here to talk about that today is our registered dietitian, Lori Meyer, who joins us pretty much every Wednesday. Lori, how do you know? if you are at risk for developing diabetes? Well, if you're living in the 21st century, you're probably at risk, okay. li literally. But if you have parents or sibling, that's really gonna increase your risk. If you're overweight, if you don't exercise, anytime you know after the age of 45, it increases your risk. Mm -hmm. But also, a lot of the minority groups, African Americans, Hispanics, Asian Americans, Native Americans, all tend to have a higher risk. Again, if you follow today's diet, the standard American diet, if you're eating a lot of fast food meals, a lot of sweetened drinks, the research finds two fast food meals a day significantly increases your risk, and if you're drinking sweetened drinks every day, you're gonna increase your risk. Do people really understand just how dangerous diabetes can be? I don't think they do because it is such a, they call it the silent killer because a lot of the symptoms are so vague and kind of silent and you don't really feel sick when you have diabetes. And so there's a lot of symptoms, but it can cause cancer, heart attack, stroke, Alzheimer's disease, also blindness, kidney failure, a lot of really, really bad things all attributed to diabetes. So it's really important that you know the warning signs. So I put together a list of what the warning signs are. And if you have any of these signs, you really want to go in and get checked because it could you could really save your life so excessive hunger or thirst frequent urination and that's really due to that those elevated blood sugar levels um, unexplained weight loss for for some people some people don't have the weight loss blurry vision um, we have okay fatigue or weakness <laughs> Uh, tingling or numbness in your hands or feet itchy skin especially if you get dark skin around your neck um, itch, uh, frequent skin, bladder, or fungal infections, irritability, depression. If you have any of those, if you have a couple of those, make an appointment. Go and see your doctor. Go in and get tested and find out if you do have diabetes or prediabetes. Okay, when do you know you have diabetes? Well, you get the blood test, and if you have two consecutive tests that are in the diabetes range, then you're, you're diagnosed and with it's diabetes. A blood sugar and so it's level blood test. sugar. And so the blood test you would be looking normal would be under 100. Mm -hmm. Pre diabetes is in that 100 to 125 range. And then once you're at 126 or above, you are diabetic. There's also a test called the, a, the hemoglobin A1C test. This measures uh, blood sugar over a six to 12 week period of time. So sometimes when you just get the one capture, it might not show diabetes, but this hemoglobin A1C does. Normal is 5.6 or less. If you're above 6.5, again, you have diabetes. And so face the fact, but there's a lot that you can do about it. And next week, we're gonna talk about a lot of the new research, a lot of foods that you can actually eat that are actually gonna help reduce the diabetes or prevent it. Eat that. Not, Not this. this. Right. Lori, thanks. Got a question for the expert? Send an email to askthexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail that number.